Good evening and a very good evening to all of you. It's indeed a pleasure to be with you this evening here at, um, at Wanikor to officiate at the opening prayer ceremony of this new electrification project. And what an exciting way to kick off and start the new year as your community welcomes the comfort and security and convenience of reliable and affordable electric power. Ladies and gentlemen, many Fijians have grown up having access to electricity all their lives. So they naturally have very little idea as to what it must be like not to have it at all. And to not be able to reach for a switch, to read your book, or plug a kettle into the wall, or keep your food cold in the refrigerator, or turn on a television. These are things, and these, these are things a great many Fijians actually take for granted. But yet for some Fijians, being able to have electricity has been a distant dream for a very long time. And this includes your community here. Your ability to own a diesel generator has simply been too expensive, while the cost of fuel needed to run it is merely beyond your reach. However, all that comes to an end today, as this electrification has been completed at a cost of $94,313, and will provide a new and reliable supply of electricity to 17 families in the Wainikora settlement, and 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In addition, I understand it's a prepay system so that you don't have to worry about manually paying your bills as your payment will be done through your respective m -Pacer accounts. Ladies and gentlemen, this project is part of a massive program of rural electrification the Fijian government is funding throughout the country. And this year alone, $42.6 million has been allocated to electrify homes in the rural um, areas across Fiji. The government has a network of support in place to support eligible Fijians with a 50% subsidy on electricity bills, and families earning less than $30,000 a year qualify for this particular uh, subsidy program with up to the first 100 kilowatt hours of electricity a month subsidized. If you meet these requirements, please apply at any office of our national electric uh, electricity provider, the Fiji Electricity Authority, Ladies and gentlemen, your community will now share the many advantages that electricity can bring. Electricity means the difference between back-breaking labor and modern electrical appliances that help with the community work. It gives your children the ability to study late at night and be better prepared for school. And also electricity creates well-lit, safe homes and streets that everyone can feel comfortable in at any hour of the day. The Fijian government provides electricity to keep you connected to the rest of the country. And moving Fiji forward is a group effort, and we are better off every time another community is added to our national grid. And that means one more community is up to date on current events and is able to contribute to the important conversations happening around the country not those on Facebook. Ladies and gentlemen, as many of you know, our Honorable Prime Minister was here in the North this week, opening new projects, expanding the reach of government services, and bringing new modern infrastructure to every corner of Vanuelebu. This is an indication of how committed our Honorable Prime Minister is in developing Vanuelebu for the benefit of its people and for our entire country. Our Honorable Prime Minister will not accept that someone living in Wainikoro deserves fewer services just because he lives in a more isolated part of the country. Instead, he would want you and everyone in Fiji to have the same basic services as people living in Suva or in Latoka or in Mandi or in Lombasa. The same access <coughs> to electricity the same access to water, the same access to education, and the same access to basic health. 
the youth of our nation have the capacity to develop innovative solutions and not only for business purposes but for the greater good of our society. And the young people of Fiji possess many of the characteristics of, the, of a modern entrepreneur that have been identified by leading economists and social scientists. Despite the challenges that we may face, the future of Fiji is very bright and very, very exciting. The world is constantly changing with new opportunities emerging all the time and the true entrepreneur will make full use of them. You can be assured, ladies and gentlemen, that the Fijian government will provide the necessary support and guidance that all our youth actually need. Just a few weeks ago, the Ministry launched the Young Entrepreneurship Scheme, or the YES, as our Honourable Prime Minister was present to officially launch this great initiative. The launch also signified another fulfilled promise by the Fijian government in ensuring economic prosperity for all Fijians and not leaving anyone behind in this journey towards a brighter and better Fiji. Ladies and gentlemen, greater and rewarding achievements are within our reach and if we can continue to think imaginatively and stay disciplined and focused, the lost years are over. But only and only if we pursue the right course and think not just of ourselves but each other as one nation. Coming back to tonight's event, ladies and gentlemen, we can all detect a sense of real excitement in the, in the air today as we power up Wanikoro for the first time. However, I am convinced that the future holds a promise that is limitless if we harness the power of all Fijians to deliver the best services to all Fijians. I'm not going to speak for long, because I understand the man of the moment really here is the Assistant Minister, and he has to say a few words too. So with those few words, I really now have the absolute privilege to officially turn on the electricity supply to the Wainikora settlement. Benawale, thank you very much. Daniwa. Just give away, Pai Sri Bhaktitarji. Okay, so first of all, the deep you can see that the outside is running out, the first of all, the debris was thrown out. People used to use it. And once again, if someone will take the debris here, and the debris will be used to use the debris, but it was a very difficult problem. मेरे मुझे किसी ने कहा कि एक बार किसी ने ढिबरी बत्ती लेकर गन्ना खेत में हल गया तो आप जानते क्या हुआ होगा उसके बाद में शायद लोग कैंडल जलाए दिया जलाए लेकिन बहुत ही दिनों से लोग जो हरिकन लैम्प जिसे हम हाथ बत्ती कहते हैं उसको इस्तेमाल करते थे लोग और आज फिर यहाँ पर हाथ बत्ती को जलाया गया है उसके बाद में फिर बेंजिन लाइट या कैल्शियम लाइट जो था, उसको यहाँ पर आज जलाना था, लेकिन कितना समस्या है, मेंटल नहीं मिलता है, जनरेटर नहीं मिलता है, उसका सीसा का दाम कितना ज़्यादा है, और इसीलिए आज हम उसको यहाँ पर नहीं जला सके। हम जानते हैं कि भाई श्री भांतोताब जी के दुकान में बहुत दिनों तक कॉलमन का प्रोडक्ट्स बेचा गया था, लेकिन अभी आज इस ग्राम में समस्या और पति को हम नहीं जला सकते हैं। और उसके बाद में फिर कुछ-कुछ लोग सोला का इस्तेमाल किए, और एक सोला बल्ब वहाँ पर बढ़ रहा है। और फिर हल्लेदार, बहुत ही खर्चीला वाला जनरेटर। यहाँ से बोला वहाँ स्टार्ट हो गया। And then, ladies and gentlemen, we have now here at Bodavani Koro in Lambasa the Fiji Electricity Authority, so-called power. And now I request the Honorable Minister to officially do the lighting of the electricity power available here at Wainikoro. <laughs> I think the 
organizing committee and the members of the, the both the community and the special guests uh, having the photo session. Okay. बाद 